So you find an old laptop under your bed or one of your kids has locked you out of your brand new PC. We don't despair because in this video I'm going to show you how to hack any Windows or Apple computer and the best news, it's going to take you less than two minutes. Enjoy. My name is Mike Godfrey. I work in tech for a living. Listening Mike Godfrey, cyber security specialist. I build cars, fly planes and travel the world for fun. Join me on my channel as I go on a journey through life. So one of the questions I get asked quite a lot is what is my setup like at home? I use this a lot of the time. I've not been into my office now for the best part of a year, so this is my home setup. This is where I'm sitting when I do these types of intros, etc. But behind me, I have this. So this is a movable desk, so I rarely use it. But here, I've just got a QNAP, and that computer there is a Hackintosh. So I built this a while ago. It's got 64 gig of RAM. It's a really, really powerful machine, 12 gig uh, graphics, etc. And that's the one we're going to hack today. So to start with, I'll just turn this computer on. So you can see it's an Asus ROG, so it's a Republic of Gamers. Like I say, it's a, it's a serious bit of kit. It's also fully up to date, so it's the fully patched version. And we're now in February 2021. So now I can go into the login screen for my account, Minerva. And just type in a couple of passwords just to show you that this is password protected. So you can see I can type stuff in, doesn't go in, etc. So now Windows, when you put a few wrong passwords in, it will load like this. It says welcome for a while, then it will go back and it will say incorrect password. And it won't let us log in until we put the correct password in. I've never actually known why it does this. Maybe it's brute force protections to stop you trying out hundreds time and time again. I imagine that's the most likely. But Windows used to be really easy to hack. It still is a very easy to hack. So there you can see I put my genuine password in. And now it's allowed us in. So you can see this is a password protected account. So now I've restarted it. I've had to blur the tool that I'm going to use out. So you'll see that this tool will be blurred out. But if you want to know what it is, just ping me a message or like and subscribe and I'll be happy to send it to you. I've had to do that because YouTube would not let me upload the video with the name of the tool there for some reason. But you can see that what I've done there is I've selected use that tool for Windows. You can see I had the Mac option. Um, I've then used the default mode, but it will bypass Windows 10 online accounts as well. And now it says, yeah, everything's ready. It's all good. Wait a moment. And the computer will restart. So now that is effectively the attack carried out. So now the computer is going to restart. As you can see. It will again present me with the login screen. So here we've got the login screen. Just press enter to log in. And now I can log in without a password. So there I've just gone onto the password field. Pressed enter. And I'm straight in. So now if I go to the user options, so if I go to the control panel, go to users, you can see that this is a password protected account, but you've just seen me log in with no password. So it's a really, really good, quick, successful attack. And now if I go into change the password, you get a couple of quite interesting things happen here. So if I go into the sign in options, I'll go down to the password and you'll see they will allow me to change it but it asked me for the old password now it won't let me not put anything in here like when I log in so you can see that I have to put something in this field so if I just put one now it lets me select a new password but I could have put anything in there I'll just type the new password that I want it to be type the password hint that it requires and then I go to change it what you'll see now is that it actually says that it won't let me change it. So here it basically says that's failed with a fail ID. 
But now if I restart the computer, let's shut it down. Bear in mind that this is a completely undetectable attack. So even if somebody's got a password on it, whatever that password is, we can log into it using this method. Just don't do what I've done and change the password and restart the computer and their original password will be on it. So we'll never find out what their password was, but we've still got access into it. That makes this attack fully undetectable. So there is no way of knowing this has happened. Unless you look through the operating system logs, which if I'm honest, I've never done, then uh, yeah, there's no way of knowing at all. So now it's restarting. And you'll see once it's restarted, it will take us back to the login screen. And then when we get back to that login screen, I'm going to use the password that it wouldn't let me change it to. So what I just put into the field a second ago, that it said it didn't change, it actually does change it. So you'll see now that if I put in the password, at first it needs a password, so you can see the attack stopped. I put in the password that I changed it to, and then bang, straight in. So this is the third time that I've tried to upload this video. Unfortunately, YouTube will not let me upload it with the name of the tool in it, despite my best efforts. I'll try and put the link to the tool in the description. If it's not there, then YouTube have disallowed that as well. Um, but it's definitely no secret. If it's a tool that you need for genuine reasons, then feel free to get in touch. Um, but really, I hope that this video isn't used for anything nefarious, criminal, illegal, etc. That's really not why I've made it. I use this method every single day for completely legitimate reasons for our clients. Um, and yeah, hopefully, if you're just watching it for curiosity, then you'll realize that having long passwords, complex passwords, all this kind of stuff in your computer still will not help. Um, and it is really, really easy to bypass. So like I say, look, if it's a tool that you genuinely need, ping me a message and I'll be happy to send you a link to it. And yeah, I hope you find it useful.